Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll talk about Trustline and their current beta program. So currently if you want to try and test the uh, Trustline app on your uh, Android phone or iOS phone, you can just join a beta program if you just click there and then just authorize it. So you can see here you can either join the testing on Android or on iOS and it's rather simple. So just click on start testing then you have to um, select your email address and I already did all of that and we will start already here in the trust app. So we'll quickly put it away and so you have to sign up there. So right now logged in uh, but you have to sign up just verify the email address and then also log in there. And now that's the starting screen. After you've done all of that, we can start here. So you can enter a username. And we already talked about paste string. Uh, so quicker to roll back. So what is uh, property or what is the Trustland app? You can see here the Flare Network has a stable coin, which is living on the Exit Pledger called the Ori stable coin. So one Ori should be uh, a, so you can see here it's a soft pack to the US dollar. And this stable coin is being, like I said, uh, lives on the XP Ledger and it's being issued there. So the, the interesting part there is, as far as I'm concerned, it's being trustlessly issued. That's the interesting part there. But let's go on. So we can now enter the username. So we'll just enter XOPDAF. So I think I already chose the one. Okay, my bad. XOPDAF, well, one already had one go here. Okay, let's do it that way. So you can see here, so right now it's creating an account in Exit Ledger. It's, uh, it's set up a pay string. Uh, okay, Rippling is being enabled. What else? So it's just doing right now uh, many transactions on the Exit Ledger, so right now in the testnet. So tiled it again, that's the testnet, not the uh, live net. Or, so I will. So we can also track it here on the testnet.exitpl.org website. So we will still have to wait. And it's done. So then you have to verify with your phone number. So I will do that right now, uh, hi hi hidden. Um, so you just have to do that and then you will get an, uh, an SMS and just verify that afterwards. So I'm right now doing that. Uh, and after entering the verification code, obviously we can go on. So now I'm here on my account, we can see here, we can see my wallet, so they prepare you with, you can see here, they gave us 59.99 XRP, we've got 10 RA, so we can also, we can see here, there's a soft pack to the US dollar, so it's, uh, the worth is one US dollar, we can sell it, and as far as I'm concerned, this is using the, uh, the DAX, so the XRP Ledger Decentralized Exchange, so that's, that's the very practical thing here that since they're using since the already stable can lives on the XP ledger it's also bringing liquidity into the Le XP ledger network uh, so not the network but onto the XP ledger and the great part there is that we just that there are just more trading pairs then so it just adds liquidity and it's just another great asset we have there so but let's go on here so for example we'll be um selling one already okay so maybe we can just say that I want to sell one ORI to the market price, let's see. So now, right now this is just the DAX functionality, so that we should see an offer create uh, any second here now. Let's see. But maybe we also made a mistake here. Yep, maybe it's, okay, let's try it again. So, nope, I already did that, no. Okay, now I did a mistake, so we'll quickly pause. All right, so let's go on, I accidentally push the back button and that's why I got back here. But you can see here my pay string so other people can send me XOP just uh, using the string XOP dev one dollar trust and not app. So I explained already similar to the our DNS system. So you can see here the transactions. So you can see here in the ledger index whatever to um, right on ledger index 20 million whatever there's the uh, funding uh, transaction all of that we can see here there's a multi sign being set up uh we can see here the already stable coin the counterparty so we can also check with the asset in there um well it might be interesting also looking at that on the test note, but let's go on and go back to the wallet we can also like i said we can issue yeah it's we can see here buy and sell already on the xp ledger 
use the reverse exchange. So let's try it again. So we'll try to sell one, uh, one RA uh, for the total price of the XOP. Well, let's try it with 0 0.3, so it should definitely work. Hopefully, so let's see the offer being created now. So we should any second see a offer create transaction. Yep, there it is. So that's ours. So we'll open up that one here again. Now we have also the account address. Right, so we'll now copy the account address. So detail, we can see here the purse, the account, that's the account here, the RAD, this is my account. Then it will also go to desk test.bitom and I'm right now opening it on another screen. So here, so right now I'm just trying to look this account up. Okay, great. So now here's my account, we can see the one here. I've got here the Ori stablecoin with nine. Uh, I've got nine of the Ori stablecoin. I've, I've got 61 XOP here. And we can see here all the transactions. So like, uh, so if you're using the uh, Trustin app, um, then you're just having your, uh, an account in the XOP ledger, as you can see here. And right, that's where it's being issued. That's where you can trade. So you can also, as you know, we can also do payments and send to another user. For example, one RA, which should be the equivalent of one XOP. So you can send it to the first account you created. It was just XOP dev, yeah. So I'm right now sending one RA to my other account, to the XOP dev account. And it's again, right. So, so, oh, okay, there's a nice sound even to it. <laughs> um, so we'll just go here to that one here. So we can see here also the other account where it was being sent to the destination. So like I said, it already created one, a account um, like a day ago. So we'll also open that one here up on the test net. We can see here the other account and that's how it was also able to, so it did it by the username. So with the pay string as we know, because if you don't specify anything and just enter the username, if you would say we want to send one, so it's also showing that just if you just enter it, like I said, it's just adding in the background the dollar trustin.co so that we exactly know who it is. So like I said, it's uh, it's resolving the name there. Right, so we can, like I said, send. We can also request um, already. So, okay, this feature doesn't work yet. Okay, great. So we'll also look at that here. We can see, like I said, the two assets we've got there, the native asset and the XOP ledger, like I said, XOP. Then the Ori stablecoin being trustlessly issued. Um, we can, ah, okay, wow, it's an interesting part here. We can transfer Ori to the Web3 wallet. Okay, so there will be pro probably also an EOC20 token, I guess, of the Ori stablecoin. So I'm just assuming here, but the Web3 wa wallet, I think they're developed by consensus, or so were developed by them, or the standard was set for them. So I didn't look that closely into it. Is there anything else we can look at the settings, but then you just see the, na the, the name and the uh, phone number. And that's it for the functionality we were able to test here. So I would recommend just testing it yourself so you can see that, just for the people who are curious how all of it works. And I hope that I, well, explained how all of it works to an extent that you're able to, yeah, do yourself and also, yeah, check it out. All right, then, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.